audit output has been paid for by the WZWA Network. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the WZWA Network, and welcome to our beloved series here, WZWA Reacts, where we check out some of the craziest things that have happened in the history of pro wrestling. I'm one of your hosts, California, and this is Juicy Boy. Juicy Boy, what is going on, brother? Dude, not a lot, but as always, I am beyond excited to be here for WZWA Reacts, and I do believe that we are here by request today. This is one of our requests that we're fulfilling. Tell us more about that, California. Radio bro, well, you know, we have a dedicated fan of WZWA Reacts, especially when we do some of the deathmatch things here right. on this show. Uh, Mr. Christian D'Amico, our good friend, um, he uh, has requested that we take a look at Jun Kasai, who we've had on Reacts before, mm -hmm. uh, taking on Masada, who will be making his WCW Reacts debut here. Um, yep. And the match that I chose, there's like three on YouTube that you know appear to be quite crazy between the two of them, but this looks like the most popular one. Uh, it's from Freedoms, Produce Pain in Limits 2012. Uh, it's a deathmatch tournament in Japan at the Kurikan Hall in Tokyo, 27th of August, 2012, in front of 1,089 fans. These two guys went through the tournament. Now they've met, they've met each other here in the final, Juicy Boy. Okay, and the finals right. is a glass board deathmatch. Ooh, love the glass board. Wouldn't want to take them myself, but love watching other people go through them. Me neither, bro, but I'm I'm with you, you know, on that because I'd love yeah. seeing um <clears throat> this kind of crazy stuff. There's there's something wrong with uh people like you and I, I think, bro. We, yeah, I think so lust. too, but you know, it, like we don't need any help for it, so don't try to offer it to us. Yeah, okay. fuck it. All right, bro, are you ready? Oh, I was born ready, bitch. Okay, X and all of y'all out there, I hope you're ready and you got to look mm -hmm. to the side there. That's where the match That's will play, right. as you know. Like, how many times have we done this now? You should know by now. Yeah, whichever um, fucking side. I don't even know which side. So. We're doing it, bro. We're doing it right here, right now. Yeah. Three, two, one, play. Very dapper ring announcer there. Oh! Hmm. Oh! When I went to the close-up there, Carl, I was just, oh, you know. So he's, he's one of them emos. He's got, yeah, he's one of them emo fellas, isn't he? <laughs> and uh, oh, there shit, is no... dude, shit. <laughs> There's no fucking mat. There's no mat. All right, <laughs> what do we got to hear? Some more awesome Japanese production values. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Masada didn't take off his uh, beanie thing for the photo. <laughs> he loves wearing that thing, eh? Yeah, he does. This is fucked up, bro. Like, there's just no maps on the fucking ring surface. Just unbelievable, man. You know, when I interviewed Masada and I asked him, you know, how does, how's his body holding up after all these years? And he's like, I'm fine. I'm like, how? <laughs> yeah. And this bloke here, he's mental. Oh, shit. Because I is looking in disturbingly good shape. You know what I mean? Like, it's like he's more threatening that he looks like he's fucking in Look shape. at his back, dude. Oh, my right? God. You're a fucking comic book character, cunt. That dude's budget on, on bed sheets. Oh, man. <laughs> just doesn't even just doesn't even sweat sweat anymore he sweats glass like he just sweats glass all the time even and this is 2012 a... like yeah he's still wrestling now 11 years later let's take note as well female referee very yeah. progressive for deathmatch wrestling at the time nice tip of go. my hat so well, she's not looking forward to counting on that. <laughs> well, she's got those those gloves, those you know protective gloves. So she'll Actually, be all those right. gloves have a bit of padding. I'm sure. I think they do. I think they're those ones that they look kind of like the sturdier, you know, type gloves. The size back is just his whole body. <laughs> yeah. I just want to quickly point out before we get going as well. I like the arena. I like the layout. Me you too. Know, 
it looks good. Um, the production values look good. No problem there. Starting out with a bit of wrestling. It's the first time we've uh, had a match from this company, Pro Wrestling Freedoms. Yeah. Which I believe has been around since 2009. Oh, beautiful. Headlock takeover on that wooden board. Excellent technique. Like, yeah. and I'm not saying that in a process. Like, the thing is, though, it, they did that so flawlessly, even though there's no maps. It's like they didn't even notice there's exactly. no maps on the, on the floor. So this company is uh, owned by a man by the name of Takashi Sasaki. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I've not heard of him. I assume maybe he's a wrestler as well. But... Perhaps. All right. Beautiful. Here we go. See, look, Masada's showing that he's not just a one trick pony, he can wrestle. Yeah. And, you know, I'd, you know, I'll comment on that quickly. It fucking pisses me off. Promoters out there. Give this guy a fucking match. He's good. Like, what the fuck is happening? He can't get booked without having to swing a light tube. It's bullshit. Yeah, oh, exactly. Gorgeous body slam. I support you, Masada. Yeah, see, so, you know, he wrestled a Ring of Honor. Fucking sick, can't you? You know, he's shown that he can do all styles. He can wrestle yeah. in Mexico, do he Lucha Libre, go. technical. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and just as we say that, he takes a heck of a bump and it cut his shoulder open there, bro. Yeah. I love yeah, that. Got um, him there. I look, love he that. got him bad, bro. Oh, bro. Bro. Shit. It's gotten him bad. Oh. Look at that. There's a couple of ch little chunks of skin missing out of there. Jesus Christ. That's dude. only the first big bump of the match, bro. I love when um, someone like, reverses a whip and the guy goes flying through something and flips into it. <laughs> yeah. It's like I, something that the Sandman used to do all the time. It's a cool <laughs> spot. It's a cool spot. And if, if the wrestlers involved are good at their Irish whip and Irish whip reversals, it looks legitimate too. Yeah. It's like they've built up so much momentum trying to do the wrestle <laughs> control that it ends up creating that. We're like four minutes into this thing and he's already bleeding like that. Dude. And we've got like 20 minutes to go. <laughs> Dude, first, when it, when they first started off wrestling, I was like, all right, they're really feeling it out quickly. And then about two minutes after I had that thought, he went through and got his shoulder fucked up. And I was like, oh, we're in for it. I see well, why this fucking was... little Japanese tables, dude. <laughs> I, You know, I love him, bro. I, I do too, because you never know what's going to happen, if they're actually going to break or... Or how they're gonna break? Okay, all right. I have a feeling. It is mis yeah. I well, have a feeling. Mate. I had a feeling. Hit him in the elbow though. He blocked it. He blocked it with his elbow. Glancing blow there with the chair. Yeah. Nice. Fuck. That's a built-in opportunity for Kasai to fight back there. You know when you watch these two wrestles, something crazy is just around yeah. the corner. You know. <laughs> there's there's chemistry between these two. I have a feeling this rivalry yep. will have a cold. Oh, dude! Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, man. Dude. Brilliant, dude. Beautifully done, but just the impact of it. And there's blood on June Kasai's ass. That's fast. <laughs> dude, his arm is fucked, dude. Dude, oh, there's some blood being spilled. And I'm here for it all the way. Oh, can to the head. <laughs> that amused me. Like, there's a... Oh, you can't see him anymore. Oh, there's a dude. Oh! <laughs> dude, not again. Oh! <laughs> it just hits him until it breaks, basically. <laughs> it just crumbles. Dude, Masada actually looks pissed off after deliver delivering that Death Valley driver. As if What's he's that like... He's doing? He, he, so was, he, he was pushing the pieces of broken glass into oh, the Oh, it's glass, of course. Yeah. Looks like salt. Yeah. It's just because of the light bouncing off of it. Brah. Yeah, come on, Masada. Fuck him up, man. I'm here for it, dude. Can get him, dude. I'm pumped up, man. Don't That's the way, brother. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Whoa! Two count. Ends up going for a very, like, lackadaisical pin after we're <laughs> getting all, like, revved. You know, fun fact, Juicy Boy, you know how, like, I'm homeboys with me and Mike from Disorderly Conduct. Of course, man. Like, every day. Like, I'd say yes, me man. and Masada talk at least one or two times a week. Very nice, man. Yeah. You know, you know, I, mean, I, I, I would go as far to say that, you know, you might consider Masada a, a friend of yours. 
I think I think I would. And these mm. scoop slams onto the broken glass. Yeah. By your friend Masada. <laughs> Kasai's Kasai pissing out of blood in his head now. <laughs> I bet you he he like the biggest part of uh selling that Kasai's doing is pretending he's in pain and not pleasure. Because really he, <laughs> it inside he's he's orgasmic with joy. Yeah, this is his bread and butter. Oh, oh what's he outside. doing now? Oh, he's just picked up a fistful of broken glass and he's punching him with it. Oh. <laughs> All right, dude. You dude. said there's... Oh, shit. Oh! oh, gorgeous, man. Nice slide on that. that you know, fight. I wonder what George Hackenschmidt would think if someone... <laughs> Was able to say, "Oh, this is what happened to wrestling after you, um, after you passed away, mate." <laughs> this is uh, not the wrestling. Oh, this is a war. It's the finals. Yeah, it's the finals, grueling, grueling competition. I also kind of pop for the uh, English translation of the name of the show. Produce. Pain in limit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, nice European uppercut. Oh, oh, nice. Off the ropes. Here we go. Back and forth here. Oh, tries to wait. Stuff. Oh, nice. on the plane yes. boards. He kicked out. We actually did see a deathmatch finish, I believe, on a previous edition of React. With a German suplex onto the boards. Mm, um, that was awesome. And now here we've seen that repeated again, but this time Masada kicking out. Uh oh. Um, it's the gusset plates. Gusset plates nailed into that oh, uh, plywood no. board. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, oh god. And he literally just. Oh, oh. I could see him peel it off. <laughs> How fucking disgusting. Oh, that blood is gross. <laughs> oh. No wonder sometimes we can't fully monetize videos on our channel. Oh, oh dude. Nah, man. Fucking I'll, oh. I'll, stay, I'll stay the fuck home. Like. <laughs> It'd be a good payday, bro. I, I don't care how much they pay. <laughs> I'm not doing it. <laughs> Oh, oh God! No! Oh no! No! Oh man! Fuck me! <laughs> what? What does it say about me that I'm loving it? Oh no! It says there's something wrong with you. <laughs> Seek help immediately. All right. <laughs> and <laughs> he I, just I, goes fuck. <laughs> Like he's just out of he already wants to go oh, clearly. <laughs> Guy in the front row walking around with a, a grand metallic mask. That's interesting to see. And after this, Masada's probably gonna go back to a hotel. It's way oh. too small for a man his size. <laughs> yeah. Feet hanging over the edge of the bed. <laughs> Drinking a sahi beer that's way too expensive. <laughs> I have a feeling he's about to do something fucking stupid. Please don't get your guts cut open, Masada. <laughs> oh no, here comes a reversal. So oh, cut him no. up with a I, I I don't like the location of that gusset plate board. <laughs> in I the late. <laughs> I'm fucking got a real one. So far away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, down he goes. Oh no, I knew it, bro. I knew someone was gonna, gonna end up... get fucking. Yeah, someone's getting yeah. ranked. No! Oh! oh <laughs> God, right into his ass cheek. Such for us, uh, that gusset plate right into his ass cheek. <laughs> Classic wrestling offense there. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, man. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Spawn on the actual pan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hope they have oh, that. Oh no! Oh no, shit! Masada's just like, come here. Come. <laughs> like there's, oh. There's, oh, fuck that dude. There's like there's, there's wrestling and then there's just murdering. Like. 
Look at it. Look at it. None of those things have been like trimmed or anything. <laughs> it's the real deal. I love how the female referee in the corner, her hair is just still completely perfect. Like, you know. Oh, like, it's a box cutter, bro. Oh, no. A box cutter, or as we over here in the land down under call it, a, a, a Stanley knife. Oh. Oh. Oh, my God, bro. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. If you've ever actually been cut with a Stanley knife, you'd know that that's, that's really not... <laughs> oh, my fucking God, dude. At this stage, it's not actually about trying to get a pinfall victory here. This oh, is God, dude, Oh, dude. man. Oh. <laughs> now, luckily, as you can see, uh, that yellow rounded handle on, that, on that, that box cutter slash Stanley knife, it's one of those cheaper ones with the weaker blade in it. Um, not an actual jip rock. Oh, knife. No. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. Even so, though, this is fucked. Oh, 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 beautiful reversal. Fuck that bump, though. Matt Bourne on Oz esque back suplex. <laughs> <laughs> Calling that back big up. Josh. <laughs> yeah, big Josh. <laughs> I'm big Josh. <laughs> dumping Razor and, and, and Oz on the. On the <laughs> Oz, like as well. <laughs> the Diamond Sturge says for us. Oh, here we go, bro. <laughs> oh, fuck. No, Jun, think about this, man. Like your ass will also hit. <laughs> oh, oh. Look at that. Nice. nice. Look at his back, dude. <laughs> he didn't even take the bump. Oh. oh, oh god, man! It's already got cuts on it and stuff. Fuck that, man. Think about the possibility of splinters as well. It's a splat of, of of blood. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, it's grotesque. Side slam, reversal. Oh, oh, nice knee strikes. Those look good. Nice tip for tat. Stalemate between these two. Oh, oh man. fucking hell. <laughs> His forehead is now mince. Masada Rama onto that gusset plate. <laughs> uh oh. Here Ooh, comes yeah. the patented trademark. Yeah. Yeah. Skewers. Of course, Masada actually does own the worldwide trademark for oh. Skewers. Oh, yeah. Stick it in there. And then when he, let, when he lets go, it's so fucking good. <laughs> oh. Looks like what a, a visual. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder like if Masada got... goes to like the local shops and he's always buying Skewers and the guy behind the counter is like, Ah oh, damn, that lad, he, he likes his kebabs, don't he? Ah, are you making shish kebabs tonight, Masada? Yeah. I guess you could say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm going to be skewering something. <laughs> the shopkeeper has no, like, doesn't pick anything up off. <laughs> well, I have a good one, man. <laughs> yeah, I will. Here we oh, go. man. The crowd is not... Gonna go for that brain buster. Picks him up. <laughs> oh! oh! God, dude. God, dude. A bunch of those skewers, like... Picks out again. The skewers still slowly falling out of his skull. God, bro. Oh, fuck me. Oh, what, <laughs> what are you fuck? fucking doing? No, bro, not onto the, not onto oh, the fucking. I love seeing things that you rarely ever get to see. Not, no, no, not onto the beams. Come on. <laughs> Just creating a hole. Oh fuck, man. I'm really afraid someone's gonna take a bump onto that cross beam, bro. More than I am about about somebody going through that Jeez, hole. Jeez, what's he doing? I'm afraid, and yet I have no intention of looking away. Oh shit. No, dude. And he covered up that beam. Yeah, he covered it. Oh, fuck oh, shit, off. Dude. Can't. I can't. <laughs> I think I know what he's thinking about. Dude, no fucking way, bro. <laughs> brother, I. No way! Brother, I'm not. 
Oh man, I love seeing things I've never seen before. Oh man, what the fuck, dude? I can see why this. Thank you for the request, Christian D'Amico. Oh, I hope man. you enjoy it, brother. Okay. <laughs> you see the look of that guy's face in the ring apron? Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. He's like, oh no, this is going to be fucked up. <laughs> oh, here we go. Uh, not the Death Valley the driver. If the vibrations make that board move, I'm going to fucking lose it. Man. If they do, if it moves before the spot happens. Yeah, see, look, I'm getting some suspense no. here. No! Shit. Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! What a move. Fucking sick, bro. The side gets powered through the hole through the glass. That was crazy. <laughs> that was absolutely crazy. That is one of the like by far, bro. One of it's the really cool, man. It's like a really cool visual to see something. Great like that. visual, but it was one of it, oh, that there was go. That was one of the craziest deathmatch spots I've ever seen in terms of like... You know what? I think one thing... Uh, hang on. No, he kicked out. One thing I would say is, I think with camera angle wise, they should not have been out... They should have shown him laying in there. Or he should have seen his, him go through the hole and you don't see him again. And then he slowly, you get that camera shot of him falling out of the hole. Yeah. As yeah. he's getting close to the tank count. That would have been better, but... That's I okay. noticed that, but I think we can't necessarily nitpick, you know. Oh! Oh! That, that was intense. One, two, kicks out again. It feels like at this point he's just a glutton for punishment, eh, mate? This is definitely an all-time no. classic. Oh! oh! Oh, God, stop kicking out, bro. It's just like... Just, just fucking a sticking. Oh no, that's just his skin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, his skin is like just like he, yeah. His whole torso looks like looks like a an unwrapped bag of chicken livers. <laughs> oh, well, the hole's elbow. been patched back up now. Yeah, very good, very good. Can you imagine what Jim Cornette would think of this? <laughs> Oh. Yeah, I can imagine, but I don't think that I would agree with his assessment, so, you know. Oh! Oh! oh he just his first the gusset plates. No, man, his ass hit them gusset plates, though, bro. That still hurts. You know, your ass feels pain as well. What's he doing now? Oh, the box cutter. No, no, no. No! God, no. God damn it. Oh, that's, that's, that's fucked, dude. Oh, no. What? Oh. Oh. Out. Oh. Man, dude, man, Masada's bump was hectic there. <laughs> Fix him up. Oh. To the top. <laughs> Just body slams him, whipping him onto his ass bone on those boards. <laughs> like, oh, oh he's no, got the he's goggles. Done. This is this means it's serious, dude. Oh! oh! <laughs> this match has just been pain personified, man. Right, Buster? No. Oh, fuck that. play into the glass. Usually when I see someone hit just a regular suplex, it's like, oh yeah, on that on that fucking surface. Fuck. Dude, stop using the same gossip plate board. <laughs> it's so unhygienic at this point. <laughs> so unsanitary. Goggles back on. No, don't do it onto the gossip plates, man. Oh! Ah, oh, Kasai's done it, bro. He wins the tournament. Bravo. Three minutes, 25 seconds, that's Bravo. Sada's peeling the gusset plate board out of his body. What a war, man. 
And now we've cut to a pro post-match promo. Yeah. But I don't think much else happens from here. I think we'll leave it there. Yeah, we'll just we'll, uh, we'll end it there, bro. But there we have it, dude. That was nuts. Yeah. That, yeah. I mean, Mr. D'Amico, <laughs> sir, as usual, you've come through with the, on the request. Every request so far that you've you've had us take a look at has just been fucking been fire. Uh, amazing match. Really loved it. Um, one of the most intense death matches I think that we've seen on mm. this program react so far. Crazy, dude. Like, I mean, it's, that's kind of up there with that CZW in Big Japan with all the fire and shit. That was that probably... one was pretty nuts as well. Yeah, that might still have it just barely, but <laughs> I mean, this was into. You know what though? This definitely has the edge in terms of creativity. Yeah. Because they they did there were several things that they did in the match where that could have been the finish. But then it's like, no, they thought of an even more interesting idea with hmm. the same implement that Absolutely. they decided to do. Yeah. Um very creative. Yeah. So really, really awesome. Thanks for the request. We hope you enjoyed our coverage of it, Mr. D'Amico. And uh we're always on the lookout for any request that y'all out there might have. Uh matches whether they be squash whether they be death whether they be strong style whether they be lucha whether they be comedy whether they be british style whether they be backyard wrestling whether they be amateur wrestling whether it be sumo wrestling whether wrestling. it be sambo whether it be thumb wrestling whether it be indian belt wrestling whether it be turkish mud wrestling anything give it to us turkish mud now <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> thanks juicy boy yeah no it's worries yeah. And thank all of you out there for joining us here to watch this match at Freedom's Produced Pain in Limit 2012 Glassball Death Match with Masada and Jun Kasai, California. Juicy boy. See you down the road. Thank you. Network, that's the way we play. Get puppies. Network, that's the way we play. Get all announcement has been paid for by the WZWA Network.